So at this point, the Avata 360 isn't really a mystery anymore. We've been talking about it for a while, the retail box leaked some time back, promo images have already done the rounds, and nothing about this feels speculative now. This is more about taking stock of what DJI has clearly been building, especially with the clock ticking on a possible US ban. And when you step back and look at it properly, the Avata 360 starts to make a lot more sense when you view it as a flying evolution of DJI's Osmo 360. At the core of this drone is a true dual-lens 360 camera system, very much in line with what DJI has already done on the Osmo 360, just redesigned for flight. The sensors are rumored to be dual 1 over 1.1 inch sensors, which is big for an aerial platform like this, and explains why DJI is confident pushing high resolution spherical video and ultra detailed panoramic stills. This isn't action cam level hardware, it's Osmo grade imaging, adapted for the air. What's especially interesting is how DJI handles the switch between 360 capture and standard FPV flight. Instead of relying purely on digital tricks, the Avata 360 reportedly uses a rotating gimbal mechanism. The camera physically reorients itself depending on the mode you're in, full spherical capture when you want it, and a proper forward-facing FPV setup when you don't. That tells you DJI didn't want to compromise either experience. Fly once, choose your angles later, but still keep the immediacy and control FPV pilots expect, then their safety, and this is where the Avata 360 quietly separates itself from past Avata models. Leaks and documentation point to omnidirectional obstacle avoidance powered by LiDAR, creating a constant safety bubble around the drone. Not just visual sensors guessing depth, actual LiDAR mapping the environment in real time, uh, that matters a lot on a 360 drone. When you're not always framing straight ahead, LiDAR acts like a silent co-pilot stepping in when things get tight without turning the flight into a fully automated experience. Connectivity and endurance also see a meaningful jump. The Avata 360 is expected to run 04 OQSync 4.0, with rumored transmission ranges reaching up to 20 kilometers, up from around 13 kilometers on the Avata 2. That alone positions it as a more capable platform for long, uninterrupted cinematic runs. Battery-wise, FCC filings list a 38.67 watt-hour pack, which is roughly a 22% increase over the Avada 2's 31.7 watt-hours battery. Even accounting for the heavier camera system and LiDAR hardware, that points to flight times pushing close to 25 minutes, which is impressive for a ducted FPV-style drone. All of this explains the design changes we've already seen. Compared to the Avada 2, the Avada 360 looks more industrial and purpose-built. The orange bumper rings are gone, replaced by a darker, cleaner frame. The battery bay has been shifted toward the rear, clearly to balance the added weight of the front-mounted dual-lens optics. This wasn't a cosmetic update. DJI reworked the airframe. Price rumors place it around $999 to $1,200 for a Flymore combo which makes its positioning clear. This isn't replacing the Avada 2, it's sitting above it as a premium creator-focused option. Now, this is where the ban conversation actually matters, but only in terms of timing. The looming US restrictions don't change what the Avada 360 is. They mainly affect where and how it could be sold. If things move the wrong way, this could be a situation where the Avata 360 launches globally but faces limited or delayed availability in the US. For creators, that's less about performance and more about access warranty and long-term support. And that's really why we're talking about it now. Not because of new leaks, but because the Avata 360 looks like a fully realized product arriving at a very complicated moment for DJI. Strip the politics away, and what you're left with is one of DJI's most deliberate ideas in years. Osmo 360 imaging, FPV flight dynamics, LiDAR safety, and post-flight creative freedom, all in one platform. If this launches the way DJI intends, the Avata 360 won't just be another drone. It'll quietly change how FPV footage is made. And yeah, that's why this one matters. Subscribe if you want to stay ahead of what happens next. Peace.